Hello guys, uh, welcome to another Python tutorial. In this video tutorial, we'll be discussing about uh, depicting the box plots in uh, Python using matplotlib uh, library. So, to make it simple, let's uh, copy these things. So you import numpy as np and matplotlib dot pipe plot as plt. And then you generate a random number from uh, numpy's uh, random dot rand function. Like you generate uh, not 10,000, you generate like 100 uh, values and you multiply that by 100. So if it is 0.1, it's going to be 10, right? That's, that's how it is. That's the spread. So how this spread is going to be like, uh, this thing is going to generate a random number with a mean of zero and the variance of one in positive and negative direction. So it's going to generate, uh, so if it's zero, it's going to be zero. If it is minus 99.999, it's going to be, 99. So it's going to generate a random number between minus 100 and plus 100. So that's what it means. And then uh, you define, you you declare another value for center C N T This equals N P dot one fifty star fifty. I got no idea what this thing does. So you know what shall we do first? Let's get rid of this one. Print center and see what it does. Uh, let's save this as uh, YouTube tut box plot. Save and press F5. Uh, so this is what it's done, so it's, okay, this is the previous one. So it's created 50 ones. So if you get the size, then it should be 50. Uh, I don't want to count, I'll just get the size of this one. How do you get the size? I just dot shape, save f So it's actually 50. So this thing actually generated 50 ones. Um, so I want 50 times 50s. Save and press F5. Uh, get rid of the shape just to double confirm that it has done what it actually wanted it to do. Okay, so we got our 50 50s. Close this one. Now uh, it's gonna. <coughs> Let's go and like uh, declare upper and lower flyers, you know, high flyers and low flyers. So high flyer is gonna be hundred times np dot random dot rand. So just generate ten plus. Hundred. So just this one and print this out and see what you're actually generating. Save F5. So the you're generating number number between minus hundred and plus hundred, and you're adding hundred to it. So you're actually generating number from 0 to 200, that's what it actually does, right? So the negative side it will be minus 100 and the positive side it will be 100. Minus 100 and plus 100 will be 0. Um, so it actually generates number from 0 to 200. So that's what I actually could see here. So this is going to be a high flyer and a uh, low flyer is equals minus 100 star this one uh, 
Let me just save this. So it's obviously going to generate a number from minus 100 to 0. Because, yeah. And then we're going to like uh, concatenate, like join them all together and call it data. How are we going to do this? We're going to use a special function in NumPy array called concatenate. Data equals np dot con catenate. Hopefully I spelled it right. So it's going to take uh, the data that we're going to concatenate as an argument. So it takes uh, let's call this spread. Uh, spread. Spread comma center. So this is one that's going to be the center. So all fifties are going to be our center values, and then um, zero to hundred will be our high flyer. And then uh, 0 to minus 100 will be our low flyer. Okay. Now let's go ahead and plot the box plot. PLT dot box plot. So it takes the data SYM equals gx width is going to be 0 0.75 and the notch and OTCH is going to be true save then plt dot show save Ah, uh, we got a box plot. So, does it make any sense? Let's try to make a sense out of this one. Mm. Let's drag this down. So, this is actual uh, box of 50 value, you know, the spread. And then, uh, High flyer on positive side zero to hundred zero to two hundred sorry yeah zero to two hundred so let's say we, on positive side it generates uh, point nine and then uh, so in two hundred is gonna be like one hundred ninety nine point nine 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 plus hundred is gonna be two hundred so that's what it is the high flyer. And this is the low flyer. So, what is this? Uh, let's try to get rid of this uh, one and see like what it actually does. Save and press F5. Okay. So you define how this thing looks using uh, this piece of code. So. Guess what? M equals GX. Save this. Let's make the notch false. Save FR. Invalid syntax. So I left a comma. Save press FR. So in our case, now notch is false. What has it actually done? It's just taken, it's just got rid of that uh, truncated rectangle that we had over here on top. I think we could just check that out uh, from the documentation. So finally, you can create a square box or a box with a notch using notch parameter, which normally defaults to false. Okay, I think it's uh, pretty much it. We plotted a box plot. Mm, if you guys have any doubts, go check out the 
if you have any doubts or anything that i can solve then comment below if not go check out the if you want to make really detailed blog spot then box spot you just go check out the api documentation for matplotlib box plot so i think it will give you a detailed understanding i mean most probably like we won't be using these kind of things unless until you're going to like uh, do a share market analysis to study the trend of the shares floating around i think that's it for this tutorial if you guys have any doubts then comment below i'll answer it so if not like and subscribe to the channel see you guys in the next video tutorial in the next video tutorial we'll be playing with scatter plots and trying to see patterns in um, scatter plot we'll be doing some advanced scatter plots so, so yeah we're pretty much going into data visualization i think we're almost like 50 percent into it so thanks for watching bye for now see you guys in the next tutorial